Hi everyone, uh, this is my new favorite block, the command block. The texture is ugly, but it is my favorite block. Um, today I have something special for you. It is the world's first silent, tileable RS NOR latch. It's not uh, stackable, which means it's like A pattern, B pattern, A pattern, B pattern. Mine's is only A pattern that can work perfectly well next to each other, no matter how many units there are in like forever um so as you see it works off command blocks as pointed out earlier in the video um uh we have basically this is using my favorite feature of the command blocks um the scoreboard feature as you see i spam the chat a little bit with some stuff um basically what we have going on here is this is um it's vertical of course so like this would be one unit so this it's um i also try to get it as compact as possible that i felt was needed right now so i would give other people challenge to compact it farther it is one two three four five six six by three by one it's 18 for one unit uh basically what an rs or latch is is here let me try make a little demonstration of what regular one is uh so when i push this button here nothing happens uh so there's two outputs one is this one another one is that one and then i'll just put some stuff there um but when i push this one it'll switch but if i push it again it won't do anything so basically it's like a one bit memory latch which is the precise definition of it that's what this does so there's two outputs there's uh one output over here this the comp uh, comparator here and the comparator there so i'll um comparator there comparator there so right now it's on the bottom one so if i push the uh the top one which corresponds to the bottom one then it uh you'll see some chat spam but it won't change the output and then but if you push the bottom one which sets it to zero as you can see first it set it to one now it's zero it switches it to the top bit and as you see it's completely independent of the other one even though when i push this button it is activating this but it doesn't like um update this part uh, i'll get into that later uh so yeah i mean it, it works just like a regular rs nor, nor latch except it needs these command blocks in between and then if i push the bottom one again it won't change the state of this and if i push the top one again It'll flip flop it back to the other one. If push it again, it won't do anything. So that's basically how an RS nor latch works. Now, the like I said earlier, the real beauty of this is that it is silent and tileable. Before, pretty much the only um, the only tileable RS nor latches there were uh, ah, there was were um, piston uh, tileable RS nor latches. Like this was the most common. Let me quickly recreate it for you. So we put that there, that there, and then like um that there, that there. So when you put on um oh here we go repeaters facing the wrong way so this one would only have one output but it would be either on or off so i guess that technically counts as two mines this can be cut off by like it can be made a lot smaller if you're to only have one like you would just this block would be a, um, a command block and then you have your comparator right there and then that would be it you don't need this extra stuff but i like two outputs on my rs nor latches always so this one if you push the top one won't do anything you push the bottom one it'll um it'll turn it on and if you push it again it won't do anything so before this is pretty much the only way how to do a uh, tileable rs nor latch but now there's this way um basically what we have going on here is at the top one on each of them basically it sets the my uh my scoreboard thing my r uh to one my uh and i used valuable rs nor for the dummy variable uh dummy uh, objective that is so it sets it to one and then uh it'll 
uh, go to this repeater, which will turn this torch off. And then when it tor turns the torch back uh, on again after the button is released, meaning that repeater will go back to that state, these torches will turn on. Uh, well, that one torch, not the other one, just that one, will turn on. And then basically this bottom one will test if the score is 1. The top one will test if it's 0. And since we just pushed that one, it'll set it to 1. So it tests it, uh, it, it tests for both, but since uh, only the bottom one is ret returned true, this output will be on. But if you push the bottom one, this sets it to zero. You push that. And then, as you see, it as soon as that torch turned on, it checked again, and it realized, oh wait, it's zero now. Now, the reason why this one doesn't update here is because that this torch over here didn't turn off, um, and so it didn't run the check. Uh, even though it's on, it won't do anything unless it, like, receives another redstone signal or whatever. I don't know. Um, no, not, like, not even that. I mean, like, it, this is pretty solid. I mean, you can't update it in any way unless this torch turns off. So, it's not buggy or anything. And it's another great design, I think, for the upcoming 1.5. If uh, they don't uh, add any new features that break it later. Uh, this only works in snapshot 13w04a right now, and then it will probably work with any subsequent ones. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching.